Be Hindu. From newspapers to television, the Metro Plus show does it every week. We handpick articles from the Hindu supplement and bring it to you through moving visuals. And uplifting us right at the beginning of this episode is a renowned yoga teacher who's been practicing and teaching this ancient Indian discipline for decades now. And it's through Sri Desikachar's eyes that we get a peek at Madras as he remembers her back in the 60s. <laughs> Direct posture, disciplined breathing and soothing yet powerful recitation of Vedic chants reflect the healthy body, peaceful mind and joyous heart of the septuagenarian Sri TKV Desi Kachar. That's when you realize age no bar when it comes to yoga. Desi Kachar has been practicing and teaching yoga for the past 45 years and has disciples all over the world. And his inspiration came from someone close to his heart. Achar was working as an engineer in the north in the 60s. During a break, he came to Chennai to visit his father, the legendary yoga master Sri Tirumalai Krishnamacharya. Mesmerized by his father's work, Sri Desi Kachar decided to give up engineering to something he felt would be life changing for him and others as well. I saw my father helping a lot of people. He was helping a lot of people. Some people had health problems, some people had diabetes, some people had asthma, some people even had stroke. And my father was teaching individual lessons and slowly people were improving. And as the people were increasing, my father's demand increased. I was so surprised. Then I asked my father, Father, will you teach me yoga? His father, Sri Krishnamacharya, was instrumental in garnering a newfound respect for yoga that extended from Mysore, their native, to Chennai. Following in his father's footsteps, Sri Desi Kachar soon reached a turning point when he started teaching J. Krishnamurti, a famous philosopher. It was a 15 minutes course and then I was teaching early in the morning, also in the evening before lecture and then he was doing simple exercise, his health became more flexible. He also asked me, please, can you teach me? I am going to Rishi Valley, I, you must teach me. So I go there and teach him regularly. His health was improved. Then afterwards, J. Krishnamurti asked me, you will you come to teach me in Switzerland? Because Krishnamurti became my student, everybody became my student. Suddenly I had a lot of Students became my students. That's why the popularity increased. This renowned yoga trainer bought a large property in Arepuram shortly after. What began as a yoga class under a thatched roof 
then transformed into the Krishnamacharya Yoga Mandiram Trust in 1976. When we were in the property, there were a lot of buffaloes, there were a lot of cows, there were a lot of flies. I also put a small thatch and I was teaching group classes. I wanted to start Krishnamacharya Yoga Mandiram as an offering to my father. Then, we, when we shifted to this present building, Having authored and co-authored several books on yoga, Sri Desikachar is proud to have made the right decision when he was at crossroads several decades ago when he had to trade a job for a life skill. Today his sole aim is to uplift the spirits of those he comes into contact for that is the only way to carry forth his father's legacy. Ancient wisdom preserved, lost teachings revived. Like deep, clean breaths to Sri Desikachar, it's short, smart blocks to a bunch of Chennai techies. Come back on the show to log on to Indie Bloggers. Mm -hmm.